There is a racing game where you can race for 24 hours in real time. That's three times the length of Desert Bus. And it was made by the same people that made Ride to Hell Retribution. Do I have your fucking attention? Good. This is Test Drive Le Mans. Ah, Test Drive, the racing series with games that could be described as... Eh? It's always been just kind of there. No games in the series have really stood out as anything groundbreaking, despite coming out long before its biggest rival Need for Speed, the Need for Speed series teabagged it harder than a Halo player who gets bullied at school by the Call of Duty kids and needs to let out his frustration to random strangers in real life. Yet somehow it continues to exist. In fact, after 10 years of radio silence, we're supposed to be getting another Test Drive game in September. We'll see how that goes. So who even owns Test Drive? That is a hell of a question. Test Drive has changed hands more than that spare change you left in your pants when you did the wash yesterday. The first two games were made by Distinctive Software and was published by Accolade, the Bubsy people. Man, Accolade totally missed out on the chance to make Bubsy Cart. I would have bought Bubsy Cart. The game we're looking at is Test Drive Le Mans, which in some places is called Le Mans 24 Hours because fuck your mother and was put on PS1, Dreamcast, and PS2. The game was published by Infogrames and developed by Utechnics, which also made Ride to Hell Retribution. Ah! And Utechnics has basically always made bad games and budget titles. So bad to the point it affects their company. After Ride to Hell, they shut down an entire branch of their studio. Then they made a bad Warhammer game and fired 19 people. Then made a bad online racing game and fired even more people. Jeez, a company that makes bad games firing people for making bad games? That's like closing down Sabaros because they make bad pizza or firing a $5 hooker because they gave bad head. I mean, come on. The Dreamcast and PS2 game are the same game, but the PS1 is its own game, and boy does it look like a visual downgrade compared to the other game. I had this game as a kid, and the main thing I remember about it is all the cars have the same engine noise. Listen. It sounds like a Dyson vacuum cleaner with a bunch of bolts and screws in the bucket. Have you ever poured a bunch of glow-in-the-dark marbles inside of a vacuum cleaner bucket, turn the lights off, and watch the glowy marbles spin around? That's called creativity in a vacuum. Let me tell you something. This game has got some floaty-ass controls. It's so easy to get out of control in this game because you just tap the steering wheel just a tad bit and the car goes all over the place. You have to just tap it very, very lightly or you're going to go off the road. And getting in the dirt is like hitting a brick wall it immediately slows you down if you don't play dirty in this game you're not gonna win because there are cars in this game that are legit faster than you so you kind of have to hope they run into other cars or they go into the pit stop or they run off the road or something now as the title of this video may suggest this game favors longer races races long enough that you can run out of gas or your tires can go bad so you will have to pull into a pit stop but that does mean that since the race is so long you do have a little while to try to catch up I love that every time you hit somebody, Tiffany Dell from Top Gear says this. Ooh, a nasty shunt. If I could mod this game, I'd make it to where he says, nasty cunt. What a nasty cunt. You know, if it weren't for the fact there's an insane 24-hour race in this game, this would just be another generic, low-budget PS1 racing game. Not even a good one. The only reason I even have this game is because it was packaged with a Mad Cat steering wheel back in the day. Maybe to move all the unsold copies? I don't know. I will say this, there's a lot of cool hidden races is in here. There's one that you drive a space shuttle. There's one where you drive cartoon looking cars. There's one where you drive RC cars and one where you drive a pizza. Hopefully not from Sabaro, but I know what you're here for and I'm not going to make you wait any longer. Here it is, the 24 hour race. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why? Well, as it turns out, this racetrack is a real track and 24 hours of Le Mans is a real race where the cars race for 24 butt fucking hours and it's been around for years, testing the endurance of both the drivers and the cars. Forget winning the race, just finishing it all is considered a huge thing. If your race car survived Le Mans, you and your car are badasses. And this game was meant to give you the option of simulating the long, grueling drive of the real thing. Quite like Desert Bus simulates a long, drawn-out drive to Las Vegas. But who in the holy mother of fuckers is actually gonna do this? Well, I literally have nothing else to do, so why the fuck not? Let's Let's go! Woo! 
Okay, the first thing I noticed is they gave you a timer so you could stare at it and see how long you've been playing this damn game. It's a good way to weed out cheaters, too. You can look at this timer and tell exactly how long somebody's been playing this game. If there's one thing this game does right, it gives you a horrendous sense of speed, like you feel like you're going 200 miles an hour. So that makes it even the more jarring when you hit the dirt or hit a wall, man. This is not one of those games where you can just finish it in three laps and get in first place. You have to work for every place you get. You really have to drive good. Every little mistake you make getting in the dirt or hitting the wall, hitting some other car, it's going to mess you up and you're going to lose a lot of time. There's a little counter up here that tells you how close you are to the car in front of you and how behind the car is behind you. I tend to get anxiety looking at it so I don't look at it. Then again, I get anxiety going outside into the world in public in front of... Ugh, people with their germs and their attitude and their mystery. If you're gonna keep smelling that bra, I'm gonna ask you to buy it. Fuck you! Well, I'm in third, and the second place guy is way ahead of me, but I got laps to go. I got plenty of plenty of time. Man, fuck the handling on these cars, man. Like I said, you just push the steering wheel just a little, and it goes all over the place. I noticed one thing. The grass doesn't seem to slow you down near as much. And that's a new lap record. Thank you, you nasty cunt. Fuck, the first place guy is way ahead of me. Well, I've got 23 and a half hours to catch up to him, so I might as well get comfortable. Now, the good news about this game is, hey, you jackass, watch where you go. Oh, fuck. So now I've got both of those purple cars in front of me. Is Sonic the Hedgehog on a treadmill in them things? What I was going to say is that you can pause in this game. Thank God. You can't do that in Desert Bus. And also, when you go into a pit stop, you can save your game. So that keeps this game from being impossible to play. But we're not going to do that. Fuck pausing. Fuck saving. Fuck all that. We're going to desert bust this shit the right way. We're going to drive all 24 hours. No shitting, no eating, no pissing. We're just going to do it. For views and cloud. Views and cloud. Views and cloud. Views and Man, how long is it? It's only been half an hour? I'm already falling asleep, man. I guess because it just gets boring going through the same racetrack, doing a million laps over and over again over the same shit. But I'm catching up to the purple car. There you are, you son of a bitch. Come on out, get on out here. Get on out, yeah. Yes, who is the non-apologetic coyote furry? Oh, hell no, you get your ass back here, purple. Ha <laughs> ha, now then. Now, this happens a lot. They have crashes and they get off the road a whole bunch. So it's perfectly possible for you to just zip right by them while they're wrecking. I reckon. I apologize. That was stupid. Oh shit, I better get some gas. Here's our first pit stop, everybody. Now, like I said, in the pit stop, you can actually save your game, so you don't have to go insane and play this whole game in one go. But fuck that, the racers don't do that. The racers don't get to save. So we're not saving, we are going the long haul, baby. Bad thing is now I gotta catch back up to that purple car. But I'll get him, I literally have all day and all night to catch up to this mofo. Was that really necessary? Hush, Tiff Needale. I don't even watch your show. I watch real men's car shows like Trucks TV. Hey, welcome to Fox. Today we're for Wheel of Wheel of Wheel of Wheel of Wheel on a project called the Little Red Cock. And who's in the lead? I am in the lead. And like a cock ready to explode, I'm pulling away. 2,000 feet, 5,000 feet, 10,000 wonderful feet. Gosh, at this point, I'm going to pass him again. Is that him? Is that him? Yes, I passed him twice! I am invincible. No one can stop me now. Not God, not state, not man, not... Oh, dirt. Oh, no, you don't. You get back here. I will loop around you thrice if I have to. It is now the first hour of the game, lap 43, and I am now 22,000 feet away from the second place car. I could literally stop in the middle of the road and take a shit and it wouldn't make a difference. I have noticed something though, that the more I play this game, now that I'm on the first hour, I feel like my brain is like going into autopilot. Like my mind is completely clear. There are no thoughts in my head, nothing but drive and it's become an automatic thing that I don't even think about. Just drive and nothing else. 
is this how the rest of the game is going to be? Like I'm just on autopilot, not even talking to myself, which I do often because I'm the only person that makes sense. It sure seems like that. It's just me and the road. There's nothing else to be thinking about or worrying about. Just drive for 23 hours. Oh boy. I, at this point, I really don't know what else there is to say. I mean, I know, how do I entertain? I don't know how Joel did it. How the fuck did Joel stay talking for eight hours when he played Desert Bus multiple times? How the fuck do you stay on for that long? I'm only at an hour and I'm already just out of shit to say. <laughs> Remember what Joel said? Oy, 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 oy. That was so funny. <laughs> After this race, I'm just gonna binge watch Joel. Oh, fuck. He must be running on fumes by now. Uh, what? Fumes? What? Oh, shit! Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, make it. You, come on. We gotta go to the pit stop. We gotta make it to the pit stop. Holy shit, 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 shit. Do not do this to me. Do not. No, 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 no. No, pick the pick it. Go back up. Go back up. Pick back up. Come on, come on. Yeah, you got some more. Come on, come on, keep going, keep going, keep going. No, 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 well, so much for this video. Man, at the, by the time an hour was done, I had done lost track of time. I was just completely zoned out. How in the fuck are you supposed to do this for 24 hours? Yeah, 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 you could save at the pit stops. I mean, in real life, how is somebody supposed to drive for 24 hours straight? Mr. YouTube man, tell me, how do you race for 24 hours? So I'm just gonna get this right out of the way at the beginning. One driver does not drive all 24 hours. They switch. This really is my face right now. So in the game, it's all one driver, but in real life, they switch out every now and then? So if you were gonna play this like the real deal, you would be met with unreasonable demands. You know what this means, don't you? The game is harder than the real thing. And I know what you're gonna say, Stu, I would have lasted longer than that, you dumb fuck. You just forgot to go to the pit stop. How about you upload a video then? Go to Vim's Lair and go download this game. Open up Duck Station and you drive the 24 hours. I wanna see it. How this is ripe to be a streamer game. How long can the streamer last? Forget Desert Bus, baby. It's all about test drive Le Mans now. Can you play a bad racing game all day, all night? Cause I certainly couldn't cause I'm a dumbass. And I bet you are all tired of seeing the ass end of a car. So we're gonna end this video right here. If you think you are a bad enough dude to drive for 24 hours straight in a racing game, then by all fucking means do it. As for me, I'm gonna find something else to play. Something that I don't have to spend hours upon hours doing the same thing over and over again for what feels like little reward. Ah, that's the stuff.